So, you want to get into Daggerfall and you want all of those delicious mods that are available out there which do all sorts of things from graphics overhauls to gameplay improvements to immersion additions to everything you could want and more are being created and released every week. And maybe you even started to get into Daggerfall with the Daggerfall Unity GOG cut that uh, we helped release which is Daggerfall Unity pre-installed with a number of mods, which if you want that, you can click the link down below. And it's free, so you can just get started into Daggerfall and it, it's good to go. However, because of the speed of the community, a lot of the mods that we can include in any sort of pack like that would get updates and even Daggerfall Unity itself can get updated. So no pre-pack mod collection out there could ever really be as good as what you could do yourself. So it's very important to that if you want to get into a game properly and play it long term that you actually learn how to at least very basically download and install and update mods yourself. And if you're watching this video, let's face it, you don't want to use a mod manager. You don't want to install some confusing application you've never seen before and have it run things automatically and, and set that up and that's just confusing, okay? If you know how to use a mod manager, you don't need this video. So, for Daggerfall Unity, it's actually one of the easiest games in the Bethesda lineup to mod because this is not an engine made by Bethesda. Daggerfall Unity is a fan-made recreation by Gavin Clayton, also known as Interkarma, who basically rebuilt Daggerfall from the ground up in the Unity engine. And it's absolutely amazing. And if you haven't tried Daggerfall, you can just get Daggerfall Unity for free and it comes with the game itself because the game also is freeware and you can play basically vanilla Daggerfall with better controls and a better engine right out of the box and that's great. Like if you haven't tried Daggerfall, I can highly recommend it. Also more links below. But for mods, well, the primary source for those is going to be Nexus. Nexus is a platform where if you haven't seen it, it's where Basically, mod authors create and release their mods. And for Daggerfall Unity, there's this whole section for just that. And there's hundreds of mods at this point. And there could be all sorts of recommendations of what types of mods you should install, which collections you should do. But I think the important thing for this particular video is how do we download a mod? Where do we put it? And also, how do we just do some precautionary checks to make sure it actually works. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Alright, so first thing we got to do is open up where our Daggerfall Unity files are. Now if you use the Daggerfall Unity GOG cut, you can go to your galaxy and uh, as in GOG galaxy and then you go to the Daggerfall Unity GOG cut page and then at the top, there's these little circles and bars up there. You can click that and then you can go down to manage installation and you can go to show folder. And when you click that, it brings up the folder of where your Daggerfall is installed. Now, this is very important to have open because this is where mods are generally going to be going is somewhere inside here. And if you've installed Daggerfall in another way, you basically have to just find the Daggerfall Unity folder, depending wherever you installed it. I, I don't know where you particularly installed it, but that's where you got to go. Wherever you installed it, you got to get to the Daggerfall Unity folder. And from there, you want to open up the Daggerfall Unity data folder. And then you want to open up the streaming assets folder. And these, this, this is where all the mods will go. There's different folders for different things. And basically when you download a mod, you need to insert the files there. Okay, so we're going to have this put over to one side of the screen. And then we're going to go download a mod. Okay, here we are on Nexus mods, particularly the Daggerfall Unity section. And of course, with the modding community, <laughs> some things are blurred out because they're a little um, uh, unsavory. But, you know, that's modding. But as you can see, also besides those blurred out things, there's a lot of stuff that we could get. 
you know, fixed desert architecture, ambient weather. Both of those are new mods which were released after the GOG cut, so there was no way they could have been included in there. So we can go ahead and find a mod to download and install, and then we're going to install it. And it's going to be very, very simple. So first things first, on this page, if you scroll down, you can see this mods section here. And you can search by latest or popular, pop, uh, 30 days, popular of all time, you know, trending mods, random mods, updated mods. If you've downloaded something before, you know, it'll actually say here, update available. Oh, fixed dungeon exterior. Is that got an update? Okay, so here we can do two in one. Cliff Worms, the, the author of this mod, has made this fantastic mod called Fixed Dungeon Exteriors, where, as you can see from this handy meme, the castle Necromogon used to just be a dirt mound, uh, when it should actually be a castle, as the name implies. The original developers just kind of ran out of time. It was 1996. We'll let it slide. But, uh, as, as Drake says here, the castle is better. And this recent update, I think I saw a tweet on it actually, Cliff Worms. Uh, it's basically fixing, oh, there it is, yeah, over a thousand, over a thousand locales improved to be not just little mounds of dirt, but actual things. That's huge. That's so important. And it, it just got an update. So if you see the upload date of this video, it's, uh, well, it, it's pretty much now. <laughs> uh, so. We've got to download this. Now, when you create a Nexus uh, account, you can download all the files for free, though it will be a little slow. There's there's a sort of a speed cap. Uh, if you want to get faster speeds, you have to get a premium account or whatever. But for now, this is your first time. Let's, let's do just the slow free one. Over here, you can see there's a files tab. Let's click on that. And then here we can see fixed dungeon exteriors. Now, there's the mod manager download where if you are an experienced modder, you want to use a mod manager. But if you already use a mod manager, then like I said before, this video isn't for you. If you want to use a mod manager, there are videos dedicated on how to, to set up a mod manager. Let's do it the manual way. Manual download. We're going to click on that and then we are using the free version. Download speeds, max 2 MB, sure. Slow download, let's click that. And then it's gonna download the file. And this is gonna be a zip file or, or some sort of compressed file. If you don't know how to open a zip file, I highly recommend using 7-zip, but uh, Windows has various ways of opening it as well. So what we're gonna do is, I can just open it straight here from the Chrome download uh, location. If you have downloaded it to a specific location, well then, open the file from there. You know. Let's open that file. And this is what we got here, right? This is the mod files. Now it says here there's mods and docs and stuff like that. Let's bring up our Daggerfall folder from before. Here it is. So this is the Daggerfall folder and this is the mod zip file. Now, you might see that some of these folder names are the same as the folder names here. We've got docs and we've got mods. So all we want to do is click drag to select everything inside this, uh, this mod zip file here. Now if you're using 7-zip or WinRAR or WinZip or whatever, it should look similar to this. We just want to select the two folders here and drag it over not into any of the folders. Be careful, don't drop it in any of these folders. Just over to the empty space over here and release. And now it's either going to say something or it's not going to say something. If you are installing the mod for the first time, it's just going to copy the files over. Easy peasy. If you are updating a mod like I am, like I already have this mod, but it's outdated because it just got an update. So because I'm using the GOG cut, my version of this mod is outdated. So I want to update it to get the extra locations and stuff by Cliff Worms. So it's now asking me whether I want to replace the files. It's like, oh, I already have these files. Well, yes, I'm updating this file. So I definitely want to replace the files in this destination. Replace. And off it goes. There we go. And now, if you've never modded before, 
you have now modded. Congratulations, everyone. You are now a modder. Uh, anyway, this panel with our mod files, we can now close that. You can actually go delete that file if you want, because inside our mods folder, we're going to have the files. You can see all these other mods are here because I'm using the GOG cut. So there's all these mods already installed, but we just updated one of them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our GOG Galaxy, or if you're not using GOG Galaxy, uh, just launch Daggerfall Unity, however it is. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. And it's going to launch Daggerfall Unity. And here we go. Daggerfall Unity. Now, if you're doing these mods for the first time, you may be unfamiliar with some things. So for example, down here, there's the mods button. If you click on that, it's going to show all of these mods, which at the current moment, these are all the mods that are incl included in the GOG cut. These come pre-installed with certain specific settings and some preference changes, which I did just to make things look a little bit nicer. So just for, for one example, under Vibrant Wind, you can see when you click on certain mods, there's settings for some of them. And if you click on settings, it shows like a whole bunch of settings that, that you could do. So one change I did as a, out of preference to make it as, as a default for the GOG cut was I reduced the bending of the grass a little bit because I just thought it was a bit extreme. <laughs> so I reduced that a little bit and that's why it's like that. But the one we installed just now was the was the fixed dungeon exteriors. And there's no settings for this particular one, but you can double check the version that you have here. So currently it's now version 1.2, right? Author Cliff Worms. And all you have to do to make sure that the mod is going, which it should be by default, but just in case, there's this enabled button right here. We can disable the mod and you can see it actually becomes a darker gray. But we want to leave it enabled because obviously that's enabled. And there we go. We have now updated the fixed dungeon exteriors mod. And if you didn't have this mod before, you have installed it. You know, updating a mod just means replacing the files rather than just putting them in by itself. And that's it. That's how you mod Daggerfall Unity. That's all you got to do. We manually downloaded the file. We opened up the zip file it came in and we identified the folder that's in the mod and we just made sure we put those folders, we dragged those folders over, copied those files into where they're supposed to be. And that's it. That's all you got to do. By default, mods are enabled, but you now know how to manage your mods as well. And just a note, when you play a game, when you, when you load a save, if you had a previous save from this, like if I go ahead and press play here, and we go to load saved game and I want to load maybe something that I had from before. Let's say I have this save from right here and I want to load that. It's going to say this fixed dungeons exteriors version 1.11 incoming version is older fixed dungeon exteriors version 1.2 errors may occur. This, this is just a note saying, okay, something has changed. The game doesn't know if something's gone wrong, but we just updated an old mod to its latest version. And in the most, in most cases, the mod authors have properly tested these mods and they should be working fine. So errors may always occur with mods. Uh, errors may occur without mods. That's just the nature of software. But you can just go ahead and click yes and It'll load up the game and nothing too much should have gone wrong. Something could always go wrong with modding. You never know. Maybe you accidentally copied the files into the wrong place. Maybe an antivirus automatically deleted the mod files. <laughs> you know, all sorts of things could, could happen. Um, also, if you load up a, a save, you saw that... Uh, uh, it said the terrain changed on this save. Sometimes when you use a mod that uh, changes the terrain, in this particular game, it repositions you to um, a default location. So your save file, when you load into it after installing some terrain mods, you might not be exactly where you used to be, but everything should work as intended. And there we go. That is installing a mod 
for Daggerfall Unity without a mod manager. It's the manual way of doing it. And of course there are better ways of doing it, but you know, if, if you're just getting used to getting into modding, that's all you gotta do. All right, I hope this was useful. If you'd like to check out more content on this channel, please do click the buttons on the screen right now. There's gonna be so much that you can check out. Uh, modding of Daggerfall, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. So there's something for everyone. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you right there in the next video. Click the button. I'll see you there. Bye.